what we're going to do right now is we're going to show you how to put different parts of a computer into the computer. What we're going to show you is different parts first. We're going to start off with, as you see the motherboard is already in there. And the other main part to put in first is the power supply. The one main thing you should know about the power supply is you never want to open it, you know, and it really is not as dangerous, so I wouldn't try to first one. Then right here you got your hard drives. You got, well, in this computer you have two type of hard drives you can put in there. Right here you got your memory, RAM memory. You got your video card. And now here we go. Let's try to get this. Alright, since the motherboard is already put in there, the second thing you want to do is put the power supply in there, like I said already. And once you hear the click, you actually know what it is. You don't want to just jam it in there, you want to hear something. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the video card in there. Push down. And now he's clinking it in and make sure it's all the way in there. Alright. Alright. Right. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our DVD in here. You want to hit the plank as I said earlier. There you go. Right. Next, Next, what you want to do is put the floppy in there. And now we're going to have the hard drive put in. Since there's two of them, what a better. Now we're going to put the memory in there. The memory is really important to gently put in there. Don't, you don't put the jam it in or nothing. You're supposed to let it slide in. Okay, and yeah, we got another one. No, it was like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is put the connectors in there to the motherboard. I mean now you have the power connector here, this is the main part that brings the power to the motherboard. And gently put it in and there you go. Huh. I can't reach all the way over. Alright. These are Molexes. Just for all the different drives. And, uh, each drive just needs a, di a separate Molex. Doesn't really matter which way you put it. Just as long as you get one in there. And uh, oh, Floppy has a different connector. I think this is a Berg connector. Which is the only drive with a different connector. That just like all of them just pretty much snaps in there eventually it's kind of hard to get to it sometimes things that really want to work all right okay I had it backwards but we're good we're good uh, more Molexes there's are the hard drives they're wrong same yeah actually those are fine Grab those more like this. Alright, that's uh, powered all the drives. Well, it really doesn't do anything without the data cables. They're just kind of like hot boxes. 
without the data cables, which is what actually makes them work, pretty much. So he's connecting the data cables, and that should go to a hard drive. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the hard drive in there. Now you have to be careful, as you see, there's a missing pin right there. You got to make sure it fits in perfect. You don't really, you try not to want to have, this is a long cord, you don't want to have it all over the place. Because it will defect as far as the fan and the, the air can going through the whole computer. There you go. Uh, no, no, you got it wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Connect both hard drives on one cable. Save space. Okay. Now what is that right there? Those are uh, IDE cables. IDE data cables. That's uh, for uh, two optical drives, DVD and CD drives. Okay. Those again just go directly into the motherboard. Once you get those two on. Yep. Let's watch that missing pin. Those can be a dick sometimes, and that just plugs directly into the motherboard also. Okay. Alright, that's all. That's all the data cables. That's and that is how all power cables. We're good. Full connection into a computer. Okay. Alright.